Okay, next. I'm Ray. I'm Casey's therapist. Today, we're going to look at how we teach Casey to ask the where questions. And a couple weeks ago, we taught Casey some uh, WH questions. So now, he can answer those questions very fluently. The next step would be for him to ask those questions by himself. So we picked out the where question to start with. So in the video, you will see um, Ivy will be playing a game called Zingle with Casey. And when Casey opens the box, he will find something, something missing. And let's see what he's gonna say. The machine. Yeah. No machine. No, that's the machine. Oh. 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 The, mach the machine is gone. No, Casey, that's the machine. You got it. Ah. Uh... What's wrong? Oh, you mean the machine is empty? Yeah. As you can see, he realized something is missing in the box because he said something like, it's empty. But he didn't pop the question. So that's where we're going to start with. In the next video, you will see that Ivy will be playing a game with Casey. It's a hide and seek game. So on the iPad, there will be a bunch of pictures. And Casey will need to find the items on the picture. So the first few items will be quite easy to find. So maybe just nearby, like right in front of him. So, um, but as, as he goes on, it'll be harder to find. So at the end, the items will be hiding in the shelf or maybe hiding behind the rubbish bin. So he'll need to ask us um, the question, where is the item to find the actual thing? Yeah. Let's find the tail. Is it? I found it. Tail. I found the tail. I found the tail. Very good. Next. Next. Okay. Lego. Yes, that's the Lego car. Lego car. Where is the Lego car? Good asking. It's under the orange chair. You found it. You find the then you Lego say, I car. Find, I found the Lego car. I found the Lego car. Thank you. Next. Okay, next. That's right here. Okay. What is the bus light here? Good asking, Casey. How about did you ask the where question? Okay, he is on top of the box over there. Oh, that's right. He did very well. So now he got the idea of asking questions to find an item. So um, in the next video, Ivy is going to bring out the single again to see if he can use the questions to find the chip and also the card. But this time, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging because he not only needs to find the item itself, but he needs to find the person who's holding on to the item. Let's see how it's doing. What's wrong, Casey? Empty. Oh yeah, it's empty. Then we need to get the, get the chip. Okay, sure. Okay, go get Good job! Getting 
the car. The car is empty. Oh, you mean the machine is empty? The machine is empty. Yeah, there is no chip inside. Where is the chip? Where is the chip? Hmm. Oh, I know. Emma has the chip. Okay, see, hang on, I just told you. Emma has the chip. Emma has the chip, please. Oh, okay. Is this this one? Yeah. yeah. He got it. He found all the parts in the, in the game. But it took him longer to find the person the first time. But when he got the idea, he can use the questions to find a person. The second time, it came a lot quicker. And now, we're going to make it a little bit more natural. So during snack time, when he needs to get his water bottle and get his snack, his snack is missing. And let's see what he's going to say. You know what, Casey? Now it's time for snack. OK? You go ahead, go get your snack, and you can go to the playground and have snack. Your backpack is in there, right? Where's your snack? Are you okay? Hiya! Yeah, you're fine. Your snack is in the playground already. I put it in the playground already. Okay, go get it. He did it. He understands the power of the where question. So now, what we need to do is give him more situations, more chance to use the question. So, that's it for today. If you want to know what's going on next week, stay tuned.